You can make the heading probability. You can see I've got some space here that I'm deliberately leaving blank because if I tell you exactly what we're focusing on at the outset, um, it's a bit of a spoiler, even though it's something you actually know. So that's why I'm going to leave that. I'm going to pose you a question. I'm going to give you a scenario. And that scenario, hopefully, um, will give you a justification for having a look at what we're about to look at. So don't worry about getting any details down. I certainly don't expect you to replicate the um, amazing beauty of this diagram that I'm about to show you. But just take it in with me, OK? Just take it in with me, and then we'll write down some details. So at a dinner party, 12 friends go out to dinner, OK? 12 friends go out to dinner, and all of those 12 friends, Nine people eat lasagna. Nine people eat lasagna. Uh, six people eat apple pie. Can you tell it was lunchtime when I planned this lesson? And two people ate neither. Okay, so let me say that again. It was a party, 12 people. Nine of them ate lasagna, six ate apple pie, two of them ate neither. My question to you is if I selected one of these 12 friends at random, What's the probability that they ate lasagna only? Okay, now, let's think about this. What, what immediately strikes you in this, in this question? What strikes you about the way it's been set up and, and the information in front of you? Anything unusual about it? Say, say it again. It's very vague. It is very vague. Oh, I, it, despite being somewhat vague, all the information that you need is there. Okay. Um, Ah, okay, so when you have a look at all of the things, right, something doesn't look like it adds up. Because if you look at uh, 9 plus 6 plus 2, if I'm checking that right, that's 17, isn't it? So something, pardon the pun, doesn't add up, right? Uh, except for the fact that if you lo listen closely to the way I phrased that question, right at the end there, maybe you worked out what's the key that unlocks this. I phrased the question, if I selected one of the 12 friends, there really are 12, at random, what would be the probability that they ate lasagna only? Did you catch that word, only? What does that imply to you if I say lasagna only? That, that implies there are some people who didn't eat lasagna only, perhaps they ate lasagna and apple pie. So in fact, this way that I've shown you the diagram actually kind of clouds the fact that there is overlap here. Right? There's overlap. Now the tool that deals with overlap is a very simple tool that you've seen many times before. The tool is not hard to use. The trick is when to know when to use that tool and here is the clue. Right? If you have a look at a situation that's presented to you in probability uh, or later on in permutations and combinations and things don't seem to add up then the tool that you need within probability is the Venn diagram. Because when I say overlap, right, the idea that some of the people ate lasagna and also ate apple pie, we represent that diagrammatically in the area of a Venn diagram that quite literally overlaps. Okay, so let's try and unpack what's going on here. Maybe now you want to um, draw yourself some space and, and write down with me the essential details in this question. As we said before, there are 12 friends, 12 friends in total. We know that nine people ate lasagna, uh, six ate apple pie, and two, apple pie, and two ate neither. Okay. Now, there are lots of different kinds of Venn diagrams that you could draw. But being that you've got a group of friends and you've got two categories here that sort of frame the entire question, right? So that means my Venn diagram, you know, we usually have circles. They don't have to be circles, but we tend to draw circles. How many circles do you think will represent this amount of information? Two categories, two circles. And I'm going to have one circle for each category, like so. I will make one of them the, the lasagna circle and the other one the apple pie circle. Okay, now 
When you have a look at a finished Venn diagram, it is an exceptionally simple object. There are just like a few numbers here and there and it tells you everything you need to know. It's a very efficient way of communicating. But a finished Venn diagram kind of disguises the work that has to go into thinking about this to create the Venn diagram. All of the work is in the creation. Okay? So some of these numbers here are easier to put onto the diagram than others. I'll give you an example. The first piece of information that I told you, or after the 12 friends, is that there were nine people who ate lasagna. But I actually, it's not very helpful for me to write nine. Do you see why? Right? Um, inside this lasagna circle, there are two parts, yeah? There's those who ate lasagna, but not apple pie. By the way, those are kind of the, that's the part I'm interested in, so I'm just gonna label that with a color there. There's those guys, and then there's the people who ate lasagna, but also ate apple pie. Do you agree? And I don't know out of that nine, I don't know which one's which at the moment. Right? I don't know if there's, is there one, three, five, eight of them? I, I've got no idea. Okay? So I can't write nine just yet. Does anyone want to have a think and help me out and work out what piece of information on here might be a little easier for me to put on directly? Any takers? Say it again. The, the neither at the end. Okay, so two people out of these 12 didn't eat either of the two things that are listed here. Presumably they either went hungry or they ate something, some non-lasagna, non-apple pie item on the menu, right? So where are these two neithers, where are they going to go on my diagram? Yeah, yeah, somewhere not in lasagna and not in apple pie. So, you know, on the outside, I guess, you could put it up above or down below. I'm, I'm going to chuck mine here. Okay, so these represent, uh, you can call this big box, we often call this the universal set, uh, meaning everyone in this 12 friend universe, okay, everyone we're interested in in this scenario. So that's really good. I've got two people accounted for, I'm just going to put a tick there, that's good. 